Come on, everybody. Come on, everyone. The time of love is here. Let these troubled days be done. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Today, we are continuing our read from chapter four, The Law of Command. And the purpose of our readings is to really help us get an understanding of the success process, the process by which your thoughts become things, the process by which your dreams become your reality. And so as we work on that together, we cover different portions of our book as we've uh, read and taken little pieces and discussed it. And so for the last couple of days, we've been looking at the law of command. And in a very simplistic way, it says, what you say is what you get. And as a result, be very careful about what you say. Because what you say can create a vibration that attracts things into your life that you don't really want. There's no such thing as, you might say, an idle word. Your, your body, your, your mind does not accept idle words. Your subconscious mind objectifies and manifests whatever you say to it. It does not judge it. It does not evaluate it. It simply objectifies it. So when you say something like, I feel terrible today, you may say it in jest, you know, like, I feel terrible today but your subconscious mind interprets it as though that's a real reality and begins to objectify it. I can't do it. In your mind, you know you can, but sometimes we get so much into the, the can't do habit of being happy or being content with saying what you can't do, thinking it's not impacting your life, but yet, if you said it, your subconscious mind objectifies it. So let us look today at the idea of the 12 affirmations to live by. And we have a poster, the 12 affirmations to live by poster, which we will send you free if you send me an email to herbert at herbertharris.com. But these 12 affirmations are contained in our book, the 12 Universal Laws of Success on page 93. And so we're going to go over them today and we're going to talk about a daily affirmation exercise, something that you can do to begin to reprogram your life. Affirmation number one, I have a positive self-image. Let us say that together. I have a positive self-image. That means you see yourself in a positive way. You see yourself as the victor instead of the victim. Number two, I believe in myself and in my abilities. Let's say that together. I believe in myself and in my abilities. That's a profound thought, folks, because that belief in yourself becomes the foundation on which you create your life. If you don't believe in yourself, then you can't accomplish the things you say you desire. There's a beautiful principle and it says, if you can conceive it and believe it, you can achieve it. So you may have dreams, you conceive things, but if you don't believe that they, are, that they can happen for you, if you don't believe you have the ability to make them real, they won't become real. So this second affirmation is powerful. I believe in myself and in my abilities. Let's do that one more time together. I believe in myself and in my abilities. Affirmation number three, I define my purpose and reason for living. Let us say that together. I define my purpose and reason for living. The moment you understand your purpose and begin to interpret yourself, your life in terms of the reason you were put here on this planet. You know, many of us at some point in our lives realize what we were destined to do and that everything that has happened to this point has been to prepare us 
for our real work. Affirmation number four. I think positively with understanding and faith that I can realize my purpose. Let's say that together. I think positively with understanding and faith that I can realize my purpose. When you speak about your purpose, when you think about your purpose, when you begin to feel the manifestation of your purpose, it will happen for you. Let's see, Jeannie 12 has joined us. Okay, Man Pre, <laughs> Man, Man Pretman, Man Pretman. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for joining us on Instagram and on Facebook. Affirmation number five. I constantly visualize my purpose, seeing it clearly in my mind's eye. Let us say that together. I constantly visualize my purpose, seeing it clearly in my mind's eye. And your mind's eye is your imagination. When you can visualize yourself doing, being, and having the things you desire, you create the vibration that will attract those very things into your life. Affirmation number six, I always focus on the positive. I'll read that again. I always focus on the positive. Now let's say that together. I always focus on the positive. Now that's powerful folks because Whatever you focus on grows. We always have a choice. It says, choose this day whom you will serve. There are two forces constantly operating in the universe. The force of flowers, good, and the force of weeds, evil. You have the choice now as to what you will feed. Someone once said there are two, two wolves inside you, a good wolf and a bad wolf. Say, so which wolf will predominate? The wolf that you feed. I always focus on the positive. Let's say that again together. I always focus on the positive. Very good. Affirmation number seven. I have the confidence and courage to be inner directed. I have the confidence and courage to be inner directed. Let us say that together. I have the confidence and courage to be inner directed. The moment you accept that inner direction, that direction from within where you let your hunches and where you let that voice inside that speaks to you constantly, where you begin to pay attention to it and have confidence in your relationship to it and have the courage to act on it is a great day in realizing your dream and your purpose. Affirmation number eight. I take possession of my mind in such strength or degree that my emotions, my instincts, and my body are under my control. Wow, let's say that together. I take possession of my mind in such strength or degree that my emotions, my instincts, and my body are under my control. That is the deal breaker. If you do not have control of your emotions, they will lead you astray. If you do not have control and mastery over the physical instincts of your body, they can lead you astray. You must have control over your emotions, your instincts, your body, so that your mind can rule the kingdom. Number nine, I always act in the present. I do it now. 
Welcome, Tracy. Thanks for joining us this morning. I always act in the present. I do it now. The only time that exists is this moment right now where you have the, the opportunity, where you have the possibility, where you have the obligation to choose this day whom you will serve. You see, if you don't act now, you procrastinate. And procrastination itself is an action. It's just an action where you give over control to something else, to the circumstances, to the situations of the people around you. I always act in the present. I do it now. Affirmation number 10. I have a plan for my success. Let's say that together. I have a plan for my success. One more time. I have a plan for my success. This is critical, folks, because when you have a plan for your success, that plan becomes your marching orders, where it says, when you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And so when you have a plan for your success each day, your actions are determined by the details of your plan, so you know exactly how to utilize your most valuable asset, your time. Affirmation number 11, I persist in my efforts with unshakable faith in my own ability. Let's say that again. I persist in my efforts with unshakable faith in my own ability. Persistence is the key. The law of persistence says hang in there until it's done. The scripture says, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened, ask and it shall be answered, but it doesn't say how long. You do it until you get it. And finally, number 12, I execute my plan and produce desired results. I'm going to say that again. I execute my plan and produce desired results results. Let us say that together, because this is key to getting the things you desire in life. I execute my plan and produce desired results. Wow. These 12 affirmations to live by are taken right here from our book, 12 Affirmations to Live By, The 12 Universal Laws of Success you need to get this book, folks. If you don't have it, go to www.12. That's the number 12 ULS and get it. You can also get it on Amazon, but be sure to get the Super Achiever Edition. That's the latest edition that has uh, over 30 commentaries from people just like you who've used this book to turn their lives around. So once again, this is Dr. Herbert Harris thanking you for being a part of our daily reading from the 12 Universal Laws of Success.